um, female pleasure is not shameful. You know what I mean? Female pleasure is a necessity. YouTube channel it's your girl Dom Lashana and we what we back at it again if this is your first time here welcome welcome this is a channel where we talk about self enhancement in all forms okay we're talking about on the outside and the inside the relationship that you have with yourself is the most important one and while we might talk about men and navigating relationships and dating we're talking about all of these things as it relates to us how it relates to our well-being and you know just kind of really honing in on that like personal relationship with self because if you don't got you who do you got <laughs> who do you got all right however if you are somebody who is already subscribed and you already kind of know what's going on here then you don't need any further introduction because you're already a certified babe let's talk about let's, let's talk about something important okay let's talk about something important and um let's talk about it now so okay Welcome. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about something that should not be taboo, but for some people it is. However, since this is a self-enhancement channel um, about uh, advocating for self and enhancing the relationship that we have with ourselves, it's definitely important to talk about, and that is sex, okay? Um, so boom. As a disclaimer, believe in discretion I believe in um, holding things for yourself unless it's for someone else you know what I mean like if you're willing to share then share and if you're not then you're not I believe in you know women having their secrets I believe in women having their their things that they keep to themselves and you know I believe in women just having that community of different things that men just aren't in on. I mean, the same way that men have things that women just aren't privy to. I think it's very important. I think it protects female mystique. I think that it protects the female because sometimes when men hear things or when others hear things in general, it's hard for them not to judge. So this is not gonna be one of those uh, videos where we're talking raunchy about the subject, no. Um, now I can't be raunchy, but for this video, however, I'm going to keep it cute and just share like just you know, an overview on this topic and just kind of share some things that I feel are important to kind of, you know, get into in regarding sex and being female and, you know, um, all the rest of that jazz. So here we go. First things first, it breaks my heart every time I hear women talk about things that they don't enjoy going down in that sexual realm, but they're not speaking up for themselves. That is a problem. Um, it's a problem because sex does not an act for you to be there and you to help that man get to where they're getting to. Sex is a joint sport and you should be able to not only uh, assist somebody in their pleasure, but they should be able to assist you as well. There should be no reason why you're just laying there and as Silly would say, getting climbed on top of, cause that's not what this is. That sounds like slavery to me because it is slavery. Um, it's physical slavery and you should not be involved in that. Um, you should definitely be advocating for the things that make you feel good and the things that make you feel respected. Now, everybody has different things that they like, different things that they don't like. Some people are into kinkier things than others and you know, some people are into more vanilla things than others. And that's absolutely okay. There is no shame in saying, oh, I don't do that, that's not for me. Then it's not for you and you don't do that. Now, it's up to you to explore why you do or why you do not. However, that's not for anybody else to make a choice and tell you what you should be doing because they like it. If it makes you feel degraded in any way, if it doesn't make you feel sexy, if it makes you feel bad in any way, you don't have to do it. That's it. No means no. You don't need to have an explanation. No matter what happens, are you at fault, okay? Because no means no, no matter what. No is a complete sentence. There is that. Also, you know, when it comes to the whole sexual thing, I feel like it's also foreign for a lot of women to be heard and accepted when advocating for their pleasure like you know the male ego can be kind of weak and when you are telling them no I don't like it this way I like it this way or you're telling them this doesn't feel good let's try it this way some men may be off put by that and it can cause awkward situations and 
that's fine that's not your problem it is it is their problem you are always to hold space for yourself you are always to tell somebody what you like and what you don't like do not suffer in silence okay because you're enabling behavior that they don't even know they're doing wrong just because you want to save their ego and there's nobody's ego that's more important than yourself um and you need to make sure that when you're involved in doing something that is completely completely optional it doesn't need to even be be done you need to make sure that it's enjoyable for you so that you are not harboring uh, resentment and you are not down on yourself and developing low self-esteem because you're walking away unpleased displeased or you're walking away with your goal not being hit no pun intended um i feel like that's a real big thing for me i don't think that um women are met in with open arms like well just tell me what you need me to do i don't think they are being met that way and i think that um it causes a lot of women to just say, oh, I'm gonna just wait till he done, then I'm gonna go grab my rose. It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be that at all. I feel like if you wanna involve yourself with another person to get one goal in mind done, you need to make sure that your goal is in there with that too because we going half on pleasure. We're not going, I'm gonna help you and then I'm gonna help myself. No, because you're doing too much goddamn work, okay? It needs to be a group. When I group, I mean, some of y'all into group stuff, but like, you know, it needs to be a, a shared goal not just you helping them and then them not knowing what you needed and you walk away unhappy so that would lead me to my next thing learn your body learn your body learn what it is that you need because for every woman who was not met with open arms and encouraged to share what she likes and what she doesn't like there is a woman who's being asked and doesn't know what to say so you have to make sure that you know your body that you like can explain to someone what it takes for you to um, reach those heights that you're trying to reach or to accomplish your orgasm because you can't just be sitting there like, oh my God, they don't know what to do, but you don't either. I think, and somebody asked me this the other day, and it's so funny, but sexual pleasure is your responsibility. Your sexual pleasure is your responsibility in the regard that you should know how to get to where you're going. Okay, you shouldn't need any help with that. However, when you are joined with someone, you should be able to tell them how to get there um, and you should be willing to allow them to help you get there. So let me put it in a different metaphor. Um, you should always know the address to your home and a way to get there with or without a GPS. Now, if you are given a GPS or somebody offers to give you a ride, you should be willing to be able to tell them which way to go and which places have uh, speed cameras and which places have a lot of traffic. You should be able to guide them and help them get there. You know what I mean? Um, so that you can be pleased and vice versa. Um, a lot of men, you know, and a lot of women honestly just think a little friction is gonna get them there. And as you develop your palate for, I feel like, sex, and you develop your palate for like foreplay and pleasure and different things like that, you'll realize that it's not just a whole bunch of friction and jumping on each other and acting crazy. You actually can accomplish uh, a certain level of intimacy with sex that is done right. And then also, you know, you can accomplish a certain level of self-esteem with sex that is done right, especially if somebody is speaking to you kindly during, or, you know, you are actually reaching that finish. I mean, it's no, it's no wonder that so many women are mad if they gotta finish themselves off in the bathroom. It's no wonder. <laughs> so, you know, it's important that you let a person know like your sexual pleasure means something to you. You're not just there to be used as a sex toy. You're there to join forces into getting both of you guys where y'all wanna go. And that um, female pleasure is not shameful. You know what I mean? Female pleasure is a necessity. I am here for the same reason you here for. And it doesn't make you a hoe. It doesn't make you, you know, racy. It doesn't make you um, a Jezebel or whatever. It makes you a human being that has needs and has desires just like that person you're laying down with. And that's another thing. I feel like for people who say things like, oh yeah, these women, they just be doing this and the third, blah, blah, blah. Now look, 
like I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I'm big on discretion. I am big on, you know, doing things that make sense for you and not having all your business out in the open and you don't care. Not because you are ashamed, but simply because what people don't know they can't criticize. And honestly, everything you do in your bedroom is not people's business, right? However, um, I'm not one of those people that's gonna tell you, oh, you should not be doing this and you should not be doing that. I think you should do it in a way that makes sense to you, that you can stand behind, that you don't feel any shame behind. And when you are doing it, if you're not doing it for your own personal reasons, you shouldn't be doing it at all. If you're letting men do things to you that you don't like because you wanna make a man happy, mistake number one through 10. You should only be involved in things, especially optional things like sex, when you are benefiting. And that's why I don't want to even leave this video without saying this. Sex is cool, it's nice, but like my mama used to tell me, you know what you need and, it's, and you can do it quicker than someone else can. Don't settle for uh, anything crazy or anything lackluster or anything that doesn't feel good to you just because you are trying to salvage or save the male ego. Don't do that. Um, because whole time their ego was big. They think they, they think they're doing it right and they're doing it all the way wrong. And now you guys are having fights and in that one fight you had, you let them know you ain't even, nah, nah, nah. now his feelings is hurt forever. When you could have just told him in the beginning and let him lick his little wounds and try again. If he was willing to try again, you know? Not only that, you don't want to be desecrating yourself. You don't want to be violating your body by letting people do things to you that ain't getting you nowhere. That's a part of being a boss for me. I feel like if you can't let a person know like, mm-mm, this not good, uh, mm-mm, do it like this, or mm-mm, I need this in order to make this happen. If you can't assert yourself in a private moment, how can you truly assert yourself in the boardroom? How can you truly assert yourself in life? I think uh, self-esteem, I think confidence comes in every realm in some sort of way. And you know, no matter what you're into, whether you're into being the person in charge in that realm, whether you're being, you're used to being the person that is submissive in that realm and you like it, whatever those spaces are, make sure you know how to advocate for the things that feel good to you. Make sure you are doing it safely, okay? And make sure you're doing it in a way where you can ensure that you will be happy during and you will be okay after. Um, and that's another thing, um, sex on a first date. Like, <laughs> I could talk about this subject all the time, but um, would I recommend sex on a first date? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Now, am I shunning anyone for doing it? No, mm -mm. But if you're asking me if I would recommend it, no, I wouldn't recommend sex on a first date because you don't know that You don't know that man and Though he might be sexy, the chemistry might be amazing, everything might be lit. If you do that with him, and then the next week you wanna strangle him, or you don't like him, or you find out he's a complete cornball, or you find out something about yourself, about him that's gonna make you wanna earl, then you're gonna be kinda sick, you know? So I wouldn't recommend doing it that soon. Have I done it that soon? I've done like on a second date, Mark. Yeah, I mean, I. I Second, third date. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't have any judgments against people and when they have sex. I think it's just important that you go into when you are choosing who you want to have sex with, and when you are choosing the next step with that person. I would, me personally, and who am I? But I would take just a little bit more time, at least seventy-two hours to a week, to figure out what vibes I'm getting from this person. Be and paying attention, okay? Paying good attention because you, that's the, I think that's one of the worst things. You you getting involved with somebody and then you find out it's a clown and then you can't un, you can't unsex, buddy. It's, it's already done. So now you just kind of like, oh my God, you know what I mean? So that would be my personal recommendation. Um, so yeah, this was my quick little rant, quick little thought process on sex, advocating for self and all the rest of that jazz. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me some other things that you would suggest to women in the sexual realm and making sure that their sexual experience are top tier like every other experience. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.